If you haven't had some time to spend with Jesus today, you guys can join me for this short reading, and I'm going to be reading out of my mini little Bible, and I'm a little tired, and like my brain feels like it's not working, but I wanted to read with you guys before I went home. I just got off work, so we're going to be reading in Galatians um, 6 today, or no, Galatians 5. We're going to be reading, Keep in Step with the Spirit. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things that you want to do. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, um, Enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rival, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. I love that this is where we read today because I needed to hear this today. And I think that sometimes um, when you hear about Christianity or when People who haven't experienced the love of Jesus, they hear about it and they say, oh, I don't want to live my life by all these rules and laws and I, I don't want to be controlled and all these different things. But um, I think this is just such a good reminder that the spirit is so freeing. Like we think that when we live in the flesh and when we're constantly um, fulfilling our evil desires and our self selfish desires that we're happy and that we're free but the truth is I know for me that when I get raveled up in my flesh and I'm not actively living in the spirit and I'm not actively doing things that maybe are hard initially but they bring joy after and I want to do things that are easy initially but they don't bring joy after you realize that you're a slave to sin and that that is the true that is the true control and sadness. That's that's what we don't want. We don't want to be trapped by this world because it leaves you empty. But Jesus never leaves you empty. He always leaves you full. 